Oh, hold up. Who's this? Kimmins10. All right. I hope I said your name right. I see you, man. Kimmins10. Let's go, buddy. Best out of three. I'm at uh, paper. It says, ah, okay, okay. You got one. Okay. All right, Mr. Kimmins. Kimmins10. Oh, you clapping. All right. Hold on. Best out of three. Rock. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. All right, Kimmins10. GG's. You got me. Get your flowers. I'm on my hardcore character, and I see you, man. All right, let's go do my next uh, build video. And just a reminder, if you see me out here in the safe zone, whether it be at the base of ops or whatever, you know, safe house, what have you, at the Haven, whether I'm on my hardcore character or my main character, if you see me, just uh, come say hi and we can play rock, paper, scissors. It's always pretty cool to see um, how everyone does. I mean, sometimes we have some epic matches and then other times like that one, I lose pretty epically. <laughs> well <laughs> i mean i guess both are epic in a way right anyways so in today's build video i'm going to uh showcase a weapon that you can get right now from the weekly vendor reset i showed everyone this morning that you were able to buy this weapon and i had multiple people in the comments saying is this weapon even viable would you use it right now what build would you use blah blah, blah. and well here we are. So without further ado, let's jump into my apartment build for 2024. Here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. And in today's build video, I'm going to give to you an apartment build that is viable right now. Title update 20, whatever the F it is, you know. Uh, we're... Right at year six, so year six is about to come up, and this is after Project Resolve. So in theory, you should be able to use this build for the rest of time until they do some sort of major, you know, uh, gear leveling change. Which, sidebar, do you think with the DLC they're going to ramp up the gear to uh, level 50? Or do you think they're just going to do like some sort of like classified thing? I mean, either way, we have to have something we're going to have to farm for, right? For the new DLC? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyways, build video time. So we're going to do the build breakdown first, and then we will jump into the gameplay. Just a reminder, after this live premiere, I will have all of the timestamps added to the video. So whenever you come back, you should be able to use the timestamps. All right, here we go. Build breakdown. So the apartment... Starting off for the top, we are using the Technician Specialization, but you can use whatever specialization you want. It does not matter. It does not hurt the build either way. It is all up to you. So for me, I'm just going to use the Technician just for that plus one skill tier, and that's really it. I mean, that's it. You can use whatever you want. does not matter, truly. Now, as far as the secondary and sidearm, Again, it does not matter. You can use whatever it is you want. I am only showcasing the main weapon being the apartment. Now, this weapon you can pick up right now. I believe it's DZ South. And this sidearm you can pick up right now in DZ East, I believe. Uh, or is it DZ West? Either way, you can pick up my primary and sidearm right now from the uh, weekly vendor reset. Now, going back to the apartment, what makes the apartment so special? Well, it is a named SIG MPX, and this variant comes with the talent perfectly measured. So the top half of the magazine gives you an increase of 20% rate of fire and negative 27% weapon damage. However, the bottom half of the magazine will give you negative 20% rate of fire with a increase of 33% total weapon damage. Now with that, we have a crit chance mod uh, for the laser pointer, crit damage for the muzzle, and crit damage for the optic. Now as far as the stats up top, we're sitting at 113k total damage, but that is at expertise level 18. So you can get this up, what, another 7%? Uh, right now and 8% whenever the next season comes out. 
Now, as far as the attributes, we have max SMG damage, max crit chance, and damage to targets out of cover. Now, uh, I just want to skip right to the numbers because this is going to be really fun. So we're at max crit chance, right? But we're at 163 crit hit damage. However, because we are running the Umbra, right? The chest piece gives us 100 stacks from the shadows, which gives us 100% crit hit damage. Not only that, but we are using the Coyote's Mask. So with the Talent Pack Instincts, and I'm running and gunning with this weapon, so the optimal range, I would say, is probably between 0 and 20 meters. I'm just being honest with you. Anything past that, I mean, you're, you're wasting bullets, okay, because of the optimal range and accuracy. However, uh, with that being said and using this exotic, that means we get another increase of 25% crit hit damage. So that's another 125% crit hit damage on top of the 163 so that's how I get to 288% crit hit damage. Because I'm sitting at 163, you add 125, bada bing, bada boom, you catch what I'm saying. Now we're at max crit chance as well, so this is a full-on crit build. I would say max crit build. Um, well, I mean, technically you could get the crit a little bit higher with Grupo in place of uh, my Sokolov backpack. However... I like to go with Sokolov Concern to give me that higher base damage because I already have a wicked high crit. I mean, this is stupid. 288, boosh! I mean, maybe I could get over 300 with Grupo. Ooh. Maybe, maybe I'll do that for a different build. Maybe I'll go all red, all crit, as high as I possibly can. Ooh, with the backfire? Oh, stop it. All right, all right. I'll do that in another build video. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Back to the, well, back to the build. So we talked about the weapon, right? Perfectly measured. This is the only weapon in the game with perfectly measured. Now, perfectly measured gives you 20, or it used to just give you the 27% weapon damage in the back end, but now it gives you that 33%, making it that perfectly variant. Now, remember my secondary and sidearm, they're just placeholders. Use whatever it is you want. I have the Slayer as my secondary and the backup boomstick as my sidearm. Now, as far as the build, I have three blue core attributes and three red core attributes. So because of that, I am sitting at 1.4 million armor and I am running four pieces of Umbra. So we're gonna talk about that first. So the Umbra initiative gear set bonuses I get for this build, 15% crit chance, 30% reload speed and the four-piece talent from the shadows and into the light. However, because I am using the chest piece, I get that additional talent from the shadows, which increases the from the shadows portion of the talent from 50 stacks to 100. And I get to gain 20 stacks per second instead of 10, sec, uh, 10 stacks per second. So that gives us 100% from the shadows. Now, From the Shadows says the following. While you are in cover, you gain 20 stacks per second up to 100. Each stack will give you 1% crit hit damage and 0.3% RPM. So that is a 30% increase in RPM and a 100% increase in crit hit damage. So that brings the top half of the magazine for the apartment from 850 RPM to 1099 that's right we're sitting just under 1100 rpm on this weapon with 288 percent crit hit damage and max crit chance this thing is a monster now going back to the umbra pieces starting with the chest we have uh, max armor for the core crit hit damage and a crit hit damage mod everything is going to be crit hit damage because with it being Umbra giving us crit chance with us using an SMG that also has crit chance, everything needs to be crit hit damage because you're already going to hit max crit chance without even trying. So crit hit damage mods all the way around. Next piece of Umbra, the gloves, weapon damage, and crit hit damage for that bottom attribute. For the knee pads, we have max armor for the core, max crit hit damage. And for the holster, max armor for the core and max crit hit damage. 
Now, going to the backpack, like I was saying, you could go to Grupo if you wanted to, but I want the higher base damage, so I'm going with Sokolov Concern. So Sokolov Concern, brand set bonus for this build, gives us 10% SMG damage. For the attributes, we have weapon damage for the core, double crit, meaning we have crit chance and crit hit damage, with a crit hit damage mod. Now, I chose to go with Adrenaline Rush. The reason being is I want a little bit of bonus armor while I am trying to face tank. Because this weapon is, or not just this weapon, but this entire build is centered around the run and gun playstyle. So with a run and gun playstyle, you need something to fall back on for survivability. As far as your Umbra, you can get back into cover and you can get that armor region from Into the Light talent. However, I'm really prefacing the From the Shadows part of that talent because we want that extra damage. However, using that armor region from the Umbra gear set with this Adrenaline Rush is a good combination because you're getting the bonus armor whenever you're near an enemy and you're getting that armor regeneration whenever you get back into cover. Now, that leads us to our exotic. I am using the Coyote's Mask. You could use the Catharsis if you want, but you're going to lose a lot of crit if you do that. So we're going to go with the Coyote's Mask for this bad boy. Reason being is it comes with uh, weapon damage for the core, double crit. We have a crit damage mod on there, but also the talent pack instincts. So based on how far away I am from the enemy, I get a different set of buffs. So because I'm using an SMG and because we know that that SMG optimal range is somewhere around, you know, zero to 20 meters, I'm going to just stick into the zero to 20 meter range. So with that being said, we're going to get that extra 25% crit hit damage from the pack instincts, and that extra crit hit damage will also go to all of my allies on my team. So I'm getting the extra RPM and crit hit damage from the Umbra. I get the extra crit hit damage, and my team gets the extra crit hit damage from the Coyotes, and I get more base damage and bonus armor from the backpack. And again, that is all because I am using the apartment, and I want this sucker to shine. Now I know, just like everyone else, that you could use the Ouroboros. I know you can use the Lady Death. I know you can use a Vector. However, I want to show you that the apartment is a good competitor. It's a different way of playing, and once you get used to it, the burst damage and that sustained damage are a lot of fun. I'm telling you. All right, now as far as the skills, I'm using the Jammer Pulse and then depending on PvE or PvP. So PvE, I would use, you know, the EMP Sticky or maybe like a Striker Drone. However, for PvP, I would switch that out for an Explosive Seeker Mine. But all right, let's finish up with the stats and then we'll move on to the gameplay. So this is for the apartment. We're sitting... At 113.1k weapon damage, 37.7 for PvP. We're at 60 crit chance and 163 crit hit damage on paper. We're at 70 headshot, and then don't forget about the damage to targets out of cover. Going to the offensive tab, we're sitting at 73% all weapons a damage bonus and 40% SMG damage bonus. So every time we're using the apartment, we're starting out at 113% damage bonus total. As far as the gear talents, remember we have Adrenaline Rush on that backpack. From the Shadows is now up to 100 stacks because we are using the Umbra chest piece. And we also get that extra crit from the Coyote's Mask. We are actually, it's pushed up to 1.4 million armor. We're actually sitting at 1.38 million armor. 363k health and 10% explosive and hazard protection. Now that is due to my watch level, so here is my disclaimer for all my build videos. I'm sitting at watch level 8,250. That means all these boxes are maxed out 50 of 50. Now if you are at or above shade level 1,000, you can copy and paste my build and get the exact same numbers and results. However, if you are below shade level 1,000, some of these boxes are not going to be maxed out 50 of 50. Therefore, when you go to copy and paste my build, some of your numbers might be lower. It's okay. Don't freak out. It's still a really good build to use. Trust me. Just put it together and have fun. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and uh, just a reminder, the expertise will definitely help out your weapon, 
but if you put it on your gear items, it's it's only going to increase your armor just by a little bit. It's really not a big difference. So I would preface just go for the expertise for your weapons and skills. And then whenever you feel like you have too much in materials, then you can start upgrading your gear items. But all right, everybody, I am out of here. That is your Umbra Initiative crit build featuring the apartment named SMG. I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. And again, I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Peace out and roll that gameplay footage. All right, and here we are in PvP. And we just uh, got thrown into a lobby really quick. Georgetown Skirmish. This is not going to be my best map for PvP using the apartment because Georgetown is more of a mid to long range map. So we're going to have to try to figure out how to maneuver around this map whenever we're doing our PvP. But this is going to be our conflict PvP gameplay portion of the video. It's going to be 4v4. PvP first team to 20 kills wins. Shout out to everyone on my team and shout out to everyone on the other team. GG's ahead of time. Now what I would typically do in this situation is change my secondary weapon and uh, do like an AR or something like that, more long range. But I want to showcase the apartment because you can get it right now in DZ South, I believe. I believe it's DZ South. Um, and yeah, pick it up. And also, I got this sidearm from DZ West, I believe, as well. So two out of the three dark zones, you have must-buys, and I'm using them in today's build video. So here we go. Now, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. And remember, I do daily Division content, so make sure you ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss a single Division video. Now, we do have Ubisoft Forward on its way. It's going to be in early June. And let me just say, it's going to be an event you're going to want to watch with me live. Because, uh, I don't know, just saying. Whenever they reach out, they say, hey, do you want to do this with us? Usually means it's something Division related. And that already has my ears perked up. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. I, I'll, I'll definitely do that. Uh, hello. So just remember, June 10th, Ubisoft Forward. We're going to have some uh, some good stuff. So just be ready. I think they're going around back. I think they're going around back. An agent needs assistance. Eh, uh, no one alleyway. Hostile assault up top. detected. No one up top. Hostile striker okay. drone detected. Alleyway again. Nothing. Where are they at? Oh, I see him. Alright, here we go. Here we come to wreck the day. his buddy just died behind him. Oh my gosh. Okay. An agent needs assistance. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's dead. Hey. GG's. Okay. Keep it going. Now just remember you go back into cover to get your armor. So you can see right here. And then it should, oh. Oh yeah, in conflict you have this little notch of health and armor taken off your character. Kind of odd. Agent down. Oop, they're right here around the corner. Let's go full, full around. All the way full. Full left, full left. Come on, come on, come on. Full left. Go, go, go. Ooh, tier six skills. Oh my gosh. Why do they have tier six? Oh, that's dirty. I don't even want to mess with those tier six skills. Oh, there's a sniper. Hostile 
hostile stinger hive mm. detected. An agent needs assistance. It's not gonna be fun. Let's see what I can do. Allies are acquiring the boost. There we go. The All right, and we have damage. Nice. That's a sniper. It's a sniper in the middle of the road. Dude, they, they have like two snipers and a freaking skill build, man. This is dirty. Alright, go, go, go. Yep, yep, yep. Oh! Got him. Keep going. Go, go, go. Just watch out for those skill builds. Oh. Yeah, that guy was a tier six. Yeah, that crap hurt. All right, keep going. Yeah, the apartment's dirty, man. It sure is. Because with max stacks, let's see, what does it show? I'm at 1190. What'd it say? 1099? 1099 on the RPM. Striker drone detected. So that's with uh, max stacks on Umbra. That's that crazy burst damage. And then when it slows down, I'm like hitting really hard. Hostile assault turret detected. Redonkulous. But the problem is, is this is a uh, Georgetown, so I can't be out in the open. This is a monster at close range. But they're gonna get me with those skills and uh, long range all day. I'm like a sniper's delight. Agent down. Afternoon I delight. The specialization Ooh. supply drop your way. Oh, afternoon delight. Oh, nice instant heal. He's gonna turn around and get me, isn't he? Yep, he got me. He got me. Come back here, man. I got you. Come on. Oh, okay. I got you, I got you. Patch yourself up, soldier. You're still in the fight. GG's. Alright. That guy was tanky. He hit that instant heal while going up the ladder. That was a good move. Oh, here he comes. Come on. Here. Go. Oh, bro. You're gonna die. Oh, bro. You're gonna die. Oh. Oh, bro. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, bro? Oh, my God. He got me. <laughs> Immediate medical assistance. <laughs> Yo, give this guy his flowers. <laughs> that unbreakable, bro. Yo, I didn't even think about the stupid unbreakable. He instant healed, and then that unbreakable proc, I was game over against that Ouroboros, dude. Oh, that was so good. Yo, if you saw that, just say GG's. Give that guy his flowers. That was good. GG's. That was entertaining AF, bro. Going up against the Ouroboros. That was dirty. I see him up there. That's freaking unbreakable. He's tanky too. That's nice. Hostile assault turret detected. What's this guy doing? Hostile striker drone detected. Ooh. Freaking skill build, bro. Hostile stinger hive detected. Was that a sniper turret? Oh my gosh. Yo, that's a freaking sniper turret, bro. Get, get out of there with the sniper turret BS. I'm gonna go all the way around. Screw that, man. Boost. About to come online. Oh, please, division gods. Give me a boost over here. Come on. One time. One time. Give me that one time. Come on. Boost. Over here? Yes. Get it, bro. 
Get it, bro. Oh, and I'm on the other side. Yes, get it. Come on, dude. Get the freaking boost. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get pissed off. Why is he not picking up the boost? Yo, why is he not picking up the boost? What is this? What was that? Agent down. Yo, he's not picking up the boost. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset right now. I'm so upset right now. Why is he not picking up the boost? Oh my gosh. Oh, and now he's dead. Are they about to pick up the boost? What's going on here? The enemy has acquired oh my the boost. gosh, and they just got the boost. Okay. The enemy has acquired the boost. All right, going up top. Mm, going up tip at the top. That sucks. Oh, they're all pushing our spawn. Oh, they're all pushing our spawn. That's good. Agent down. You're running low on reinforcements. Yeah, we're only down by two. We got this. Let's see if I can get these guys. Let's see if I can get these guys slipping. Catch our team up. Where? I see him. I sure do. I see him. I see him. Oop. Hostile stinger hive detected. Ooh, are they gonna jump up? Bye bye. I hear him. I hear him. Yeah, get back here. Hostile defender drone detected. Hostile striker drone detected. Hostile assault turret detected. What's happening? They're about to jump up here, man. No, nope, not yet. Supply drop being claimed by Friendly. The specialization supply drop has been nice. claimed by an ally. Okay. Oh, there you go. There you go. Got him. Get agent needs assistance. We got him, we got him. I got you, bro. I got you. Patch yourself up, man. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Boost. About oh, gosh. oh, dude, they have a hive over here. Oh, dude, this is bad. You're almost out of time. There are no Ooh, they're on the other side of us. Oh, dude. I'm waiting for him to hit that boost. I'm doing it. Ooh, why am I all messed up like that? That was weird. We got this. The boost is being taken by allies. Alright, we have armor. Allies or no, we have damage. Nice. Nope, oh, get out. GG's. Where's your buddy? GG's. Good comeback. Woo! Good game. Good game. And you can get this weapon right now. Oof. The only person that was giving me some trouble was a tank with Unbreakable and the Ouroboros. Everything else was uh, butter. Melt through it like a butter. But all right, GGs. Let's see that. Uh, let's see that podium. Oh, get it exempt. Exempt. GGs. 
Let's see what we uh, did. He went 10 and 3. I went 8 and 1. Oh, and Toxic went 0 oh and 6. Uh, Jesus. Hey, man. GG's. Hey. Give, give the people their flowers. Uh, that constrictive guy, he went 10 and 7, but uh, that was a good game. Good game. I see you, man. All right. That is it for PvP. Let's jump over to PvP. And for PvE, you know how it goes. We're just going to randomly match make on Heroic and see what kind of cards we get dealt. All right. We're accepting whatever this is. We'll help them out, and this will be your PvE gameplay portion of the build. I hope you enjoy. Remember, this is the apartment with Umbra. Has joined your and we are going to bank headquarters is what it looks like. Let me see. If this is invaded, I might have to switch my skills around. This is invaded. Okay. All right. So I am going to switch to the EMP because we are going to have a crap ton of drones and wally bots and darpa dogs all right we are good let's go now i am running the apartment So I am going to be close to mid-range for most of this. I'm going to try not to do anything too long-range. I mean, as long as we can keep them right here, this isn't bad. We're not in a bad spot at all. Oop, that's a healer. Left side, healer, left side. Oop, healer, right side. job. Dang. Alright, GG's. Let's keep it going. From what we can tell, now we'll just a reminder, with the codes. Umbra stacks, I'm just at 1100 RPM and 263 crit hit damage on paper, but then with uh, Coyotes, that goes up another 25%. So we're actually at 288 for the crit hit damage. Not bad at all. We need to get up there and get that healer. There we go. Oops, the controller right there. There we go. Keep it going. Now I'm going to keep going in and out of cover just to make sure I keep my stacks up. Because the more stacks I have... Uh, into the light. There we go. Alright. There we go. Moving on. GG's. Now this is on Invaded and Heroic, so this is the hardest difficulty you can do for this mission. However, you could add directives to it if you uh, wanted to make it a little bit harder. Alright, let me get my stacks up. Yes, this is a boss area. Oh, I'm trying to take out those dogs. It's going to be the worst thing out of everything in uh, this mission. It's going to be the dogs. The dogs and the wally bots. Ooh, who's behind us? I see him. I got you, I got you. Come on. that dog. I assume he's down. Trains are down. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Come on. We're going. I'm good. Right. Ooh, there's a Wally bot in there. He's going to shoot through the wall right here. Yep. Oh, this sucks, this sucks. And jamming the wally. Oh, 
Oh, dude. Yeah, get the freaking... Oh, that's a boss. And there's a Chunga. Oh, my gosh. Chunga down. All right. Boss. Go, go, go. All right, jammed him. Oh, that didn't even hit him? What? Okay. Crap is that? Am I about to get, um, lagged? I was about to say, no one else is shooting. There we go. Compatible RFID signature detected. That's what you need. Grab that key card. All right, keep going. Hmm. Wonder what that unlocks. I wonder what that unlocks. Keep an eye on. Data vault access codes. Now this is Head down and get invaded, so it's going to be a little bit different as far as the loot is concerned. Oh, ooh, piece of candy. Nice. Very nice. I like. All right. We are already aggroed down here. So let me try to end with this. Nope, oh, too far. And try to do this. There we go. Push up. And stacks are up. Keep pushing. And we have... Shocked me. Oh man, I was about to pick up that shock ammo. Man. Yeah, whatever. All right, keep going. We're doing pretty smooth. A little heroic invaded. Let me know in the comments if you do uh, your invaded's every single week. Dog. Now nah, we got it. GG's. Yeah, shotgunner. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, man. Mm. Easy peasy. Keep it going. This next part's gonna be the part that's gonna be hard. Authentication. I don't know if I trust this next part. Might get a little tricky. They're already downloading the data. Yeah, they can wipe it to grab it first. Alright, so this is going to be the part that's going to suck. Because we have to uh, control the spawns, or they're going to be everywhere. If you can find a way to the you must be accessing one of those systems directly. Alright. We'll like stop it. Halt it. There we go. Alright, this is going to be the hard part right here. Yeah, these guys. Spawning. They're spawning, they're spawning. System, no oh 
man. Oh, I hit myself. Dang. Yo, if you saw me just jam myself, we can laugh at that. Just say I saw that. I got my. I got me. Ooh, this is a freaking dog right there, bro. Alright, dog's down. Oh, coming around. Oh, this is becoming chaos pretty quick. I will admit. Come on. Oh, another wave. Oh, snap. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. We're barely getting through it. Oh my gosh, we're barely getting through it. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, we got this. Oh my gosh, maybe not. Ah, oh my god, a dog just got out. Oh, this is getting bad. Oh, this is getting bad. Oh. Go. Oh, someone just went offline. Oh no. And I'm group leader now? Oh no. Oh no. What's going on here? Had I just become group leader? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is chaos, bro. Get my stacks back up. There we go. Bye bye, Wally. Oh, oh, he's back. He's back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is chaos, man. I do not uh, remember the invaders being this hectic. It's like nonstop. How long is this spawn? Like five minutes? Like, how long is this spawn, honestly? I mean, it's longer than just a few minutes. It doesn't even have a timer on here. It's just non-stop spawns, which is really fun, but if you don't have the right team, oh, I can get you. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice. We did it. can't transfer the data. Might be interference from the structure. Make your way back topside. Nice. We did it. Let's go, dude. Ooh, piece of candy. Nice. Nice. Ooh, peace candy. Noise. Alright. Let's keep it going. Jeez, we're like barely even halfway through the mission. Come on. And the kids are in the background going crazy. Not my chair, not my problem. That's what I say. Mr. Walkway... Mr. I'll take you to the duel. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Mr. Tree. Mr. Tree Meister. I hug the trees. They talk to me. Yeah, right. Screw you. Screw you. Hey, if you remember that, let me know. Over there. You know. Drinking out of cups. Man, I'm a bitch. Man, I skip a little bit. Match. <laughs> Going all bossa nova. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm feeling better. I'm like week two into the sickness, so and I'm feeling signal. a bit better. Something's throwing up interference. Looks Ooh. like Black Tusk might have set up some kind of jamming device. Looks like Black Tusk. Black Tusk got struck again, Bob. Oh no, Dolores! What are we gonna do? Oh, that's a chunga. Yeah, that's not fun. Yeah, that's not fun at all. Yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh, yo, that chunga hurts. Bro. I will get you. I will get you, chunga. Bye-bye. Mm, bye-bye. 
we go. I see the dog. Yep, dog's down. Good job. Oh, good job, a good job. Now you can see why I use the jammer and the uh, EMP. Because it's a daddy. And it works. It works very well. Very well. And you'd probably like the build even more if you, if you had a uh, secondary weapon. Remember, I'm not even using a secondary weapon. I just wanted to show you uh, the apartment. from across the way. There we go. Where is that jam? System reactivated. I don't see it. System malfunctioning. See the laptop though. Jumps down. Device deactivated. Upload has started. Oh yeah, this part's fun. Oh yeah, then all the freaking mobs. Oh dude, this is so good. Just sit here and have fun. Die, die, die. Oh my gosh. Good. It's working. Seventy-five percent complete. Yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. Might run out of ammo, but that's a good problem. Jeez. Now clean up the rest of the black tusk and we can hey call today a win. This is a lot of fun. Not gonna lie. The apartment is doing its job. And that is bursting down the enemy. At 1100 RPM, 288% crit hit damage and max crit chance. This thing is a no brainer. Huh. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. Like, let's be real. If I was even using a good secondary weapon, like, this would be game over. I just want to show you how much carnage, how much carnage and chaos the apartment can, uh, can dish out. Yo, the kids are in the background going crazy. I'm kind of jealous. All right, as soon as this game plays over, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to go hang out with the kiddos. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. We're gonna play play some games and eat some dinner. All right. Hope everyone's having a good day. Here we go. Oh, come on. We have to wait. There's always that one guy. Always. Now this part's gonna suck because this does require some long distance. So this might hurt me really bad here. We're gonna see. I'm gonna try to go up here, but I think I'm gonna die up here. We'll see. All right. Wish me luck. Man, this could work. And then I can do this. There we go. That was good. Keep jamming. Where's the other heavy? Oh, I see the, I see him, I see him. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, the dogs are on the other side. The one part that I cannot jam. I'm about that jump down it seems like uh, a little too far away for the action right now. And we're doing good with the jams. I'm gonna go around town. Let's see what's pop logging. Man, can't let you all have the glory. Come on, 
Let me get some kills. Let me get some kills. Let me get some kills up in here. Let me get some kills up in here. Come on. Oh. Oh. Where's the boss? Come on, jump down. Jump down. Come on. I dare ya. I double dog dare ya. Oh. oh. You got your little got your little henchman coming down here. Catching a fade. I see you. Catching these thumbs. Let's go. Bye bye. Where? Where's he at? Window? Yep. Window. GG's. GG's. Hey, that was fun. That was fun. But I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go hang out with the fam. Let me just see what these, uh, stats are. Yeah, they're making me jealous. It's the one cool thing about working from home. Go hang out with the fam. Alright. Hey, 900 million damage. We killed 91 enemies, most skill damage, most amount healed because I am running Umbra, uh, most weak points. Dude, going ham, man. That was good. GG's. 900 million damage. 91 kills. Nice. GG's. All right. Let me get out of here. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Support the channel by subscribing. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.